Okay, we're back. Welcome, people. Doing some, uh, no crash today, we're doing Paper Mario instead. We're gonna get to take a chip out of that. Yep. Then follow up with some... <clears throat> oh, yeah, we're, uh, we're on the island. We are, yes. We're probably... We're lost. Probably gonna get through the jungle, go babysitting today. Mm. See you on the island. Yes, the island. There we go, let's get this... What number uh, am I? Am I number six? Number six? Are are, are you? <laughs> sorry, I was making an island. The island reference. I'm not familiar. I watched you, Lost. Did you watch the Simpsons episode where uh, where Homer was kidnapped by a bunch of maniacs and was put on an island? I think was it like a that was a parody of another show called The Island. Was it like a closed environment where they were like cotton pickers or something? No, no. <laughs> No, they were. That was a different. Homer Simpsons kept episode. getting drugged all the time at, while he was staying on the island. He was replaced by this Russian dude. Are you sure that's not the same episode? I, were they picking cotton? They were like working on a plantation, or it was like a scheme to get people to work for on a farm or something. No, I. That's not what it was. They were very. If not, no. then they were two very, very similar episodes. Homer was a like a slave. He was just kept prisoner. No, no, not on... not Homer. Homer no, Homer's family. Oh no, it was called the prisoner. Sorry, not. No, no, it was just Homer. Okay. Homer. Uh... So someone in the someone watching this video is gonna know like these exact episode and season numbers. Mm -hmm. Well, if you do, post it in the comments. Speak That'll help us into the debate once and for all. <sighs> Speaking of uh, posting in comments, I don't know how you're gonna feel about this. I suggested for people in case we did do another artificial academy video. Actually, I am. Um... Kind of to post about what character to, to post what characters they wanted to see added or or removed. <laughs> added slash or removed. You know, any anyone's free game. Mmm, wouldn't be Paper Mario without the water's kind of choppy today. Yeah, <laughs> I did see. I do see what you did there. Yeah, I just run around in circles for a while. You're you're a fish out of water. You should be dead by now. I can't prove it yet, but I bet they're planning something. No, no, no. That's not how you say your voice. It's like <laughs> okay, because hey. oh. she because she's the deep one. Yes. Abyssal speech. Alternatively, we we make her sound like Bacon Bomb's Betty Deville. <laughs> I think how it works is that the deep ones half their genealogy is human and half of it is fish. Yeah. And, uh, and, the, and this is like the, the ones that are fully transformed to mate with the human. You just got. Hit. Oh, no. That's okay. We'll fill out the tattle log. It's the the a... one that doesn't exist in this game. It's a hurt plant. Hey, Bring in the hurt, brother. <laughs> a fucking pro wrestler called Hurt Plant. That, no, that a would be. The... It's a botanist. No, that would be the special move of a pro wrestler. The hurt plant. <laughs> So what is pro wrestler's name? Johnny Flower, the botanist. It doesn't even have to be plant related. It'd just be hurt related. I got it. What? The gardener. Okay. He's a gardener, and then he comes out to some some kooky fifties uh, music. Okay. Some sitcom music. If you say so. Damn it. Yeah, there's oh shit, poisoning is in this game. Yeah, there's a lot of poison in this jungle. That's gonna be a thing. Well, yeah, you catch malaria and shit. Also, jungle... For some reason, jungle animals tend to be more villain venomous than fucking animals in the, in the other rainforests. Or in the desert, where... I, I mean, if that were accurate, there's a lot of poisonous shit in the desert. Why? Why is it in, like, hostile environments that everything's poisonous? Is it because food's more scarce? I guess. Because it's like... <laughs> ah, game's plentiful, you know. If you run out of a breed population, you decide to make yourself less appetizing. If you're more valuable as a food source, you gotta have a better defense mechanism. Alright, what are you, new friend? Gotta evolve. Hooga booga! It does, it does look like, like the Crash Tiki head. Yep. M. Bush. I get it. Master Bush. M. Bush? M. Bush. M. Bush. It attacks by surprise. Fuck! 
You, you got it! You yeah. got it, folks! <laughs> Im that's... That's not even close! That's not a decent pun, I'm sorry. I, I wouldn't say it was a decent pun, but it is a ver verifiable pun. That is something Nintendo does. God oh, damn it. Oh, I'm, I'm only half my way to star points, too. I want to be lazy. There we go. Oh, yes. Break it. Break yeah. reality. <laughs> Reality's broken. What are you saying? So slow he is. Yeah. What, me? Is he talking to... Oh, no. Uh, yeah, I assume he was talking about you. I thought maybe he was talking about my getting through the jungle. Sorry, I've, uh... I need some time to get going. Yeah, Jack just woke up. Yeah. Okay, I don't know why I'm in the jungle. There's just nowhere else to go. You... What did she say for you to do? She said that the Yoshis were plant, the kids were planning something. Oh, oh, they're they're being little rascals. Yeah. Huh? Crazy rascal. Fucking. Uh, I thought that it started out that way, but I, I guess not. Maybe I have to go into the jungle and come back. Oh no, I I remember what I gotta do. I gotta go into the Unger up uh, the Unger the Unger jungle. <laughs> that that's its name now. Going to the wrong side. You got you. The other jungle. The is like, don't go over there. This feels with poisonous shit. It's it changes so suddenly. It's like suddenly we're in the Tarzan world in Kingdom Hearts. Hello. They had to design like two two jungle textures. Welcome to the Unger jungle. Oh no, you're being. Oh no, it's the sh it's the native shy guys, the native South Africans. Get a hold of yourself. What do you say? You attack the enemies instead of me. No thanks. I like how the shy guy is just pausing in the middle of it. He's like, okay, I don't want to interrupt your guys' conversation. <laughs> and no, and he's like, okay, it's your turn. You want to hit him? Be my guest. <laughs> I wanted to do the spin jump on him. I wasn't good at it. <laughs> Alright, spear guy, what do you got? They're, you know, I, I don't know if they are intended to be creepy, but they're actually kind of adorable. Yeah? They're like... They're like little Ewoks. I guess, yeah. I do the Ewok noise, but I don't know the Ewok noise. Noises. It's a little low for them, isn't it? I don't know. I, I, I don't want. I want to do high pitch, but I. No, I do you, we know. can do English Ewoks. Remember that was the movie. Oh, okay, that was with Wilford Brimley. That was an amazing movie. We can't swim. No, you don't. Bonk. Let me show you why the water just goes bubbly. Okay, there we go. I can... Oh, what do you say? I can deal at most seven damage, which means everything in the jungle is still annoyingly one hit point too high. <laughs> just like Shy Guy's Toy Box. <laughs> Needs to be more like a jack-in-the-box, just pops right up. I missed that fine, fine Colorado dialogue. I say... We never did. We never did tell the story about the last time we played this game in the desert. Oh, and you were oh. just, you were just hopelessly lost, running around all over the place. You're like, where do I go? And finally, I get frustrated. I'm like, you, you have to go west, west of Colorado. And I just <laughs> because we live in Washington. It's yeah, funny. and then actually east. There simply must be a way in there. You know. ETA. And this game was, it could be retranslated and re-released. I bet they would give Colorado a stoner voice. Why? You think everyone has a stoner voice? No, 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 no. Because his name is Colorado. I, okay, that's a bit of a stretch. <laughs> it's not a stretch! ETA for Cards Against Humanity. Uh, probably same as, uh, same as last night's plan. 7 o'clock. And we're actually doing it this time. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh no! Oh no! What's wrong? What's wrong, Tubbs? Such ill fortune! The children are missing! <laughs> Fat dragon! They don't seem to know it. They don't know it's dangerous. I, the Yoshis in this game... I mean, this guy is sprited okay. The others all look so derpy to me. I don't know why.
Maybe it's just because when I, I never got to this point when I was a kid and I played uh, Paper Mario. So, I, I don't know, I'm just not used to seeing them in this game. But the, the Yoshis do seem a bit... cultured. I guess. They seem out of place to me. Yeah. Oh, he... It's Hail Dagon! It's just like tongues. She can't actually be understood, but Mario just inherently knows what she's saying. <laughs> it's Octo Dead speech. What? What are you talking about? He spoke just perfectly normal every human English. <laughs> You're an octopus, Dad. How are we human? <laughs> that was the best part of the game where it's like, wait a minute, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. How? Oh man. Hold on, I'm gonna get my glasses. It'd be, okay. I just realized it would be easier for me to actually see this game. Yeah. Do I have to fucking Velma it up over here? Okay, let's tell tell Sushi the insensitively named fish about uh, about our adventure to rescue the princess. We got the swimmer. Yay! We can actually go across water now. We can't, because Mario can't swim. Yeah. That's silly. Bacon Bomb showed me a video of uh, apparently Sushi's tidal wave attack, mm -hmm. like using a program to max it out, like hit all the button necessary button inputs instantly, uh -huh. and it crashes the N64 version of the game. It doesn't know how to deal with that. So it's a move that just. Never works. It's a move that is contingent on human error. Wow! And the, uh... That, that, that is so strange. The Virtual Console version, I think it just, like, really slows down the game, and it introduces some weird bug in the UI that shows, like, the a C button stick on your menu at all times. Ah. Oh, hey, but, just says he's moving to Colorado in a month. He is indeed. Well... You'll be able to enjoy the best legal weed money can buy. Is it known as being better than elsewhere? I don't know! I know that they're the, they're the most lenient of the four states. There are only four? Uh, that legalized it! Okay, I thought there were a lot more than that for some reason. Uh, a lot of them decriminalized it, but... Oh. Uh. Oh, hey, look! <laughs> it's so cute! Just... What? What are you doing? <laughs> He's bull dancing! Oh, whoa! Oh, uh, they, it didn't want us to hit that one. So the virtual console still worked though, works, though. Yeah. When you do the tidal wave. Yeah. it. I think it maxed out at 14 damage for every enemy. Ah. Uh. Again, I would have no problem with Virtual Console and buying my games over again, as long as I only had to do it once, but... What if you were rich? No, I still wouldn't. Really?! It would just... It wouldn't be worth the hassle of going to the store and queuing all the downloads okay, every time. Okay, if, if you had ten million dollars, and it still wouldn't be worth it? It's not worth the effort of re-downloading it. You could pay somebody to do that shit for you! Or I could just use ROMs. When you're rich, you'd still use ROMs! Why not? Otherwise, I'd just be encouraging Nintendo with their, bull <laughs> th their bullshit. Oh, so it's not, it's not a grinch thing if you just want to save your money. You're just wanting to tell Nintendo no! I Again, I would happily spend the money if I only had to spend it once. Actually, I, would, I know better use for your money in that situation. You just invest a lot in Nintendo, become a stockholder, and then convince them not to do that shit anymore. Yeah, that'd take a lot of convincing. How, how about how does three million dollars of convincing sound? Three million dollars. Okay, that no, that's a wall. Okay. Just the concept of you just were attempting to just tell which is which. Oh, they don't oh, like being hit. This game does not react well to these guys. No. 
Okay, do I have... I don't remember if I have spike shield on, damn it. I don't think you... You should check. Yeah, I time. should. Um... Oh my god, these guys are annoying. Go get him, Ness! That's... That's uh, a third character's thing. What? Okay, so, in Earthbound, there are four, uh, four party members you name. There's Ness, the kid from the... from the suburbs. There's Paula, that, uh, girl he's sweet on. Yeah. There's Jeff, the Canadian genius scientist. And Pooh, right? Yeah, the, the prince of, uh, of Oriental land. Mm. Um, that was Pooh's thing. Ness yeah. never learns it in, uh, in Earthbound. Okay. I guess I guess he learns it in Sash though. Who taught it to him? Well, yeah, that's what I was referencing. Yeah. Still need to play Earthbound one of these days. You played Earthbound. You haven't played Mother One or Three. Um, I to... tried. To, I tried to play Mother Three, but at the time it it, uh, it was untranslated, and I just decided it wasn't worth it. Yeah. Um, I, I if you want to play Earthbound, uh, like this weekend, I'll totally I can totally arrange that. I wouldn't say this weekend. We still got a bunch of stuff we're in the middle of. On well, my stream, I mean. Yeah. But all right. Finish Earth. Finish uh, Undertale. Go to Earthbound. Oh, we could. We just got to finish Undertale first. Yeah. We we can do it after this, and then move on to Cards Against Humanity. Yeah, that's what, that's what the plan is. We'll do like half an hour Undertale, probably. Oh, I really should have this this place memorized better than I do. No, I don't want you, Sushi. Ow! Oh! I'm also not good at guarding. Uh oh! That's fine. I'll be alright. Yeah, you're right. That is the biggest threat. I don't want more of you. Or maybe I do. I could have. I could have like ground them for star points. I you're guess. at five hit points. That's not. A, that's not wise. Man, if only I had close call. <laughs> I. I think I find it. I find that that adorable because it's like two like this little dim, diminutive thing just trying to act like. Like a badass with that spear? I guess. Oh, wow. Just what you needed. I mean, uh, Spiller was pretty small. Spiller was awesome, though. Yeah? Like, <laughs> by the way, for those of you who don't know what we're talking about, uh, we're talking about Secret Life of Arietti character. Yeah. The one who is this badass-looking Native American dude. Flying through the air and shit. Yeah. And... He's a shonen anime character in a Ghibli movie, kind of. <laughs> Which is, I want to see more about him! Why can't the movie have been about him? <laughs> That's the sequel. Spiller gets his offshoot. Dude. Oh no, piranha plants. What do you, what do you got, Goombario? Hmm? It's a putrid piranha. Is what? that really what their name is? No, they just smell! <laughs> They sometimes bite, but the truly scary thing is their nasty, poisonous breath! Smells poisonous from here! Oh, they need more poison. Yeah, you gotta heal. Oh. Yeah. Mm. I don't have any, uh, star power. What is it? Okay, I, I don't think their attack power is that high. Uh... You could, um... Like, use Snowman Doll. Yeah, I could. Remember to heal, that bro. I'll be fine. You worry too much. <laughs> ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Damn it. Their attack power is pretty low as long as I guard. You probably got one good turn left before you die. Yeah. Bonk! Oh, there you got go. it that time. Oh my god! It's not- I'm gonna have to use a mushroom in the field, though. This isn't gonna be enough to level up. 
As you can tell, I'm very, very stingy with using items. Do you believe in miracles? You did it! You Yay. won! Yay! Only eight more. Oh, he looks depressed. Goombario looks at this kid and knows knows that he's nowhere near what it takes. Ah, uh, you're not near my level, boy. Goombario, by now, by now in the adventure, Goombario has seen things. Yeah, he's, he, his hands are just covered in blood. He's got like a, a scar or two that makes him look more badass. Right now, he's Cell Saga Gohan. <laughs> Maybe Namek Saga. When you first go to Mario Club, your ass is a wad of cookie dough. By the end of it, you're carved out of wood. <laughs> oh, ni nice job, Captain Amazing. You fucked yourself. Well, I thought maybe, you know, it'd be a good chance to level up, you but... You should retreat. I'll use the stupid shroom. My god! I just want to level up! You're stubborn. There we go. Fuzzies. Oh, right, this is the repeated one. God damn it. I wonder if you're able to, like. If you had, like, a turbo controller? I don't think it could go fast enough to save you, but I'm not sure. Damn it, we don't have turbo controllers. We can test it out. Eh. One down. I'm not taking any chances with you, boy. Alright. See, if I could have taken the hits, I would have leveled up, but yeah, I don't like wasting items. I don't like using items. <laughs> well, it's unmanly. It's not the Squad 11 way. <laughs> I thought that was just using, uh, using magic in any capacity. Yeah. Magic or items or anything that's not a blunt object. Hey, no. Squad, Squad 11 allowed use of items. You remember that guy who hid that that uh, anti that coagulant in, his, in the hilt of his sword? I guess, yeah. But not not for. Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, he used. That was after the fight, though. He didn't. No, he used it during the fight. Okay, yeah, he did. Okay. I have no response hey, for that. Ichigo was calling out on how that was not fair. That's why Ichigo is the better Squad 11 member than Ikaku. Well, okay, yeah, Ikaku secretly uses items, and, and Yuichika secretly uses magic. That's why he's not captain. He's not- they're not pure. They gotta hide both of those things from Kenpachi. Yeah, I don't think Kenpachi would care, though. He's like, you use magic? Okay, I guess you're challenging yourself in a certain way. Uh, Pussy. you- you're using items? Oh. Uh, well, there, there ain't no rule that says you can't do that. Basically, you he just had the heart to like tell him off in the in the middle like of the arena. He's just kind of. Yumichika plays Smash and relies on custom builds. Ikaku plays Smash and relies on items being on. <laughs> okay, he doesn't rely on it. He never. Ikaku never really uses that again. So. Oh, hey, how the fuck did you get up there? Morning. Hey, it's Mario. What's the matter with you? You were looking for me? This one's Osaka. <laughs> <laughs> we were playing hide and seek and I got real sleepy. I, got I figured I'd take a nap here. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. The jungle's not so bad. You know there was an Azumanga video game and it wasn't what I was looking for? Wasn't it? It Wasn't it a dating sim? No, it was like some kind of star-based card game? Huh? Okay. I wasn't uh, was aware of that. Was there an Azumanga dating sim? Fuck. I think there- maybe it was fan-made. Probably fan-made. I would like to see an RPG just starring them. Or maybe it was just a mock-up of an Azumanga dating sim. Pro it was probably- uh, probably a mock-up. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure- I think that- uh, Dating sims are mostly just writing, right? It's just- it's just a lot of writing because you gotta map out all the, like, pad- the character pads and stuff. The fuck is the point of that? There isn't one. There are a lot of plants in this jungle with no real point. This is just to show you the biology is fucked here. 
I guess not, not not necessarily. Dating Sims. You're thinking of visual novels. Mm -hmm. Those are those are very story based and and oh yeah, have like dividing plot dating lines. Dating Sims, you have a lot more numbers. Yeah, dating dating Sims are math games. <laughs> For some reason, like Artificial Academy falls into that category, whereas what a visual novel is like Katara Shoujo. That is. Wait, what? And then there's Monster Girl Quest, which doesn't really fit anywhere. Dating Sims are writing in porn. Yeah, pretty. That's pretty, not at, not inaccurate. I mean, they're not all porn, but but the ones we play sure are. All the good ones are have all the good stuff has nudity and sex scenes. I mean, just look at how Ga Game of Thrones is popular. Nobody's giving them shit about about putting important dialogue wieners, in the middle of sex. Floppy wieners, big and floppy. <laughs> Nobody gives a shit about that because it's American. They only give a shit if it's like cutesy and animated, because that that's just taking them into an uncomfortable mind state. I guess, yeah. I mean, you you freak out every time G Goku shows his dick in Dragon Ball. I'm su more surprised because that's a shonen series marketed toward a different kind of audience. I and it's guess. Al also it just it's just unexpected every time he whips it out. It was just like. So suddenly, I'm looking at it, I'm like, the fuck? That's not what I wanted to see. Kid Goku, to be clear, not 20-something not Goku. No, he doesn't whip it out in DBZ. I don't think. No, he does not. Oh my god. I guess Japan considers, like, 5 to 10-year-olds on par with babies in terms of nudity. Maybe. I mean, there was a... In a I watched a Japanese movie it was a remake of 13 assassins yeah and there was a there was a scene where where it was just a kid pissing and it was full frontal and i i looked at that i'm like why the fuck are you showing me this <laughs> and then I, I looked it up and apparently because of different societal norms in japan you know as you said they don't yeah. really consider they consider it funny rather than you know Pet hunt here yeah and uh and that's what that was supposed to be a joke because there was a kid pissing and during a relatively intense battle scene. Yeah. Or pre-battle scene. And so I'm like, eh, it's probably the Japanese equivalent of, of, of here, ladies' boobs being a PG-13. I guess. I think I saw it, like, tits in a, in a PG-13 movie. I, I sure never did. I on it, tits are a bigger deal here than in Japan. You, you saw Ranma. Yeah, fair. Fuck, <laughs> fair enough. Okay, that's a I'll, kids show. All right, so then I'll just put it up to uh, Japanese not really being as prude in some ways, but at they're, the same time more prude. They're more prude about actual genitalia. Anything less than that, not a big deal. Fuck. Also, Game of Thrones is is more tame than most. Uh, Adult anime series, just saying. Yeah, I. Th I mean, I'm, I. I mean, Game of Thrones is still really good. It's just that I've seen some. I've seen some shit. Yeah. <laughs> I heard you. I when your dad was here for the weekend, I heard you watching something in Japanese out with him. It sounded. I think it was just like a like a, you know, a live action Japanese movie, but it sounded like you know moe anime acting. And I thought that for a second you were showing him Seiko no Quasar. First off, I, I know what you're talking about. Second off, that wasn't Japanese, that was Korean. Okay. <laughs> I The I, point is, I thought you were showing him some etchy. <laughs> no. You did at one point stop him from watching Queen's Blade on Netflix. Yes, I did. This was a long time ago. My dad was in Netflix perusing the anime, and he decided, Hey, Queen's Blade, that sounds awesome. I looked at that. And I realize he's a he's a married man. I'm like, no, Dad. I I, don't, I think I don't. I think this is just, no. I've heard I've heard things about this series. You don't have permission to watch that one. <laughs> I'd be forbidding my dad from watching anything. To be fair, he didn't. He wasn't angry about that. He he just took your word for it. I, he yeah, he knows me. Oh God damn it. Dude, what if there somebody developed a, a semi-realistic-looking Mario game where Mario has the proportions of a of a human, but still wearing a similar outfit? And when he's doing platforming, it's just a bunch of parkour shit with the flips and everything. 
So GTA Mario? Yeah, yeah. Fuck, I played Brothers Mario mod for uh, Grand Theft Auto. Oh, I, lo I lost track of where I've been and where I haven't been. Mm. Come here. You're going that way. I've been this way. God damn it! I gotta kill this bastard. Fortunately, you got 25 hit points. Probably level up flower points next time. Yeah, it's just a matter of taking all this time. You know what? I think I know why some people... Oh, he can call reinforcements too? God damn it. <laughs> I did not expect them to do that. Jesus Christ. Good show, game. Fuck, what was I talking about? Uh... The Brothers Mario? Uh, I'd like to see... What would the third... If they do make a third one, what would that be about? Oh, you mean the actual, like, the YouTube videos? Yeah. I don't know. There were, they did Mario, they did Donkey Kong. Uh, I, I mean, Yoshi, Yoshi comes to mind, but there's not a whole lot in the Yoshi universe. It's all like baby, Oh, it's a prequel where an we're in, we're in, we're in older Japanese samurai dude is taking care of two, like, kid, like, kid Mario and Luigi, and, he, and then they fight, Ma like, a guy called Magikoopa. I guess. Like an evil politician. Or, fuck, there was, uh, oh, it's, it's one, it, they adapt it for, uh, Los Santos, and they adapt, uh, Super Mario Sunshine and have, like, Bowser's kid try to fight him. Or they adapt Smash Brothers, that'd be cool. They just get the whole canon involved. Oh, and it's like underground, like, fight ring. Oh, or, no. Oh, man. Ganon shows up and then it's Link and he's some kind and he's a, like, some kind of fixer for the government. Sure, we can get Zelda involved. Yeah, Zel Zelda's Nothing a politician. Here. Did I? Did I? Because get Peach and Peach and, uh. Okay, I know where I'm, I know where I'm missing one, but I don't remember how to get here, there, this way, so I'm, I'm gonna cheat. What are you talking about, Peach the politician? No, Peach wasn't a politician in uh, in Brothers Mario. She no. was like, she was a streetwalker, right? A street, a whore? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to be nice, but okay. <laughs> trying to not be offensive because I actually. <laughs> I mean, that's the name of the job. No, it's not. <laughs> Wait, oh, my thing or your thing? No, your but what? <laughs> what I said or what you said? What I said? No. Streetwalker is the is the politically correct term for it. Okay. <laughs> Prostitute, whatever. <laughs> that was <laughs> no disrespect. <laughs> I mean, I... yeah, she yeah, Princess Peach was. Oh, well, it... she was the trophy girlfriend. She wasn't necessarily a whore. Okay. That wasn't established. Oh, fuck. okay. Or a prostitute, rather. Apologize to her and our Harley Quinn. <laughs> um, no, Harley Quinn's a slut. <laughs> See, that doesn't mean working for sex. That's just a promiscuous. Harley Quinn looks weird in that Suicide Squad movie. Yeah. Like the original thing was like she had black, white, and red, like actual Harlequin. Now she looks like some kind of weird ass purge girl. I, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> She's like a girl from the purge. It's... Honestly, Suicide Squad looks like a, looks a lot like the like the late '90s, early 2000s punk stylings of Batman Beyond. Um. Or Static Shock. I, I actually. I think if you were to watch, if you wanted to watch, through here. I don't know if you want to watch Suicide Club at all, the, the movie, I don't, I watch the animated thing instead. There was an animated version of Suicide Squad? Yes, and it, and, and it's actually pretty good. Okay, so yeah, I could have gotten to this platform somehow, but I didn't, I didn't. Oh, I've been here lots of times, I just never thought to use the platform. Okay, so how was the animated Suicide Squad? Uh, really good, it sold me on, and on Harley Quinn as a character. Yeah. Rather than, I mean, Harley Quinn was kind of forgettable in the original Batman the animated series for me. Don't know why, but she was. And then seeing this Harley Quinn, I'm like, she's just literally a psychopath. That's awesome. She has a more distinct psychopathy than the Joker. For the most, hell, in 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 in, in, uh, in uh, the Suicide Squad animated movie, 
her and Joker were actually on the outs, and I thought that was cool. For most of the DC animated universe, her whole shtick is just being really obsessed with Joker and not realizing that he's utterly abusive to her. She's kind of one-dimensional and tragic, so... Well, in Suicide Squad, they actually give her more nuance. Yeah. It's pretty cool! By the way, we're still bushwhacking in the jungle. Yep. I'm pretty sure these people would be talking about... <laughs> I'm pretty sure if, if Mario... Mario's whoever, got jungle fever. He's just bushwhacking, they're just bullshitting about pop culture. <laughs> It's it's like the, oh, that's, that's it's, actually... it's the Jewel scene all over again, but with Mario and Goombario. <laughs> oh my god, I actually do want to see Quentin Tarantino do something Mario related, just because I know it'd be it'd be off the wall insane. Yeah. Just Mario talking about <laughs> pop. Oh, you're done. That was a weird ass <laughs> fanfare. Yeah, it's the only time it appears in the game, I think. Hey Mario, you you want to tell me about the hash bars in Amsterdam? <laughs> Fuck, where would that, where would... Sorry, sorry. Rogueport! The, sorry, the shroom, the shroom bars in Rogueport! Well... <laughs> it, what you wanna know? It, well, like, is it, is everything really, like, is it all okay there? Is, like, it's like legal and everything? It's legal, but it's not 100% legal. You can't just go into the public and do whatever. You gotta do it in your homes or certain places that aren't on the street. Oh, well, that's kinda stupid. Why, why, why even legalize it then? Well... I don't know where this conversation is going. I'm sorry. I don't remember the whole scene well enough, so. No, it's been a while. I got it. It's on Netflix if you ever want to watch it. You know what? I've been thinking they, about don't it. Don't they start I... talking about, like, what they call a burger in Europe or something? Oh, yeah, like, you know what they call a quarter pounder with cheese in France? They don't call it a quarter pounder with cheese? No, they use the metric system. They call it a Royale with cheese. But the point of the Quentin Com Tarantino conversations wasn't the fact that, uh, that they were talking about a certain funny thing is the fact that they were just treating it like it was serious fucking shit. I guess. I don't think they treated it that serious. It's that they were talking about something so not serious in what would in otherwise a serious be a serious way. moment. That's why... That's no, why... no, in a serious moment, oh, not yeah. a serious way. They are going over there to kill a bunch of guys and they were talking about fucking burgers. Yeah. <laughs> that is a tasty mushroom, Goombario. So here's... Here's something I was wanting to do. Because I know that your, like, boredom of modern movies is just so astounding to me. I figured I'm going to go down the AFI best hundred in a hundred years. I'm going to see, have you watch certain movies that are generally considered to be classics, good, and legendary. Yeah. And just film your recording and then record you talking about the movie after the fact. Yeah. That would be a great YouTube series. That's usually a lot better than my reactions during the movie. I don't tend to have a lot of reactions until you ask me what my opinion was. So... I think that would be interesting. Just oh, look, he's doing it! Oh my... Whoa, what the fuck? His hands can't reach down there! Excuse me while I whip this out. <laughs> oh, okay, he just... I, I, I'm, I gave you... I'm not gonna ask where you pulled that out of. I haven't been to see Raphael since I was but a little Yoshi. He's still alive? Dragons live a long time, bro. All right. Okay. Now, now we tell her about the princess. See that when we do the deep one thing for her, we can't actually read any of her dialogue. Fine, is the problem. I, okay. I don't know, know what other hilarious. voice we Just use think though. This could do like abomination talking an old lady voice. Now, see you here. If you aren't extremely careful and lucky, you'll be roasted to a golden brown. <laughs> I don't know. I we could do idea. the Osaka, or we could do like the. Uh, the quote unquote deep one voice from Bleach, the. I don't. I don't. Ba Wait. Baura. The whale. He just be speaking so going slow. Back, going back to uh, Azumanga for a second, I realized that if uh, if you assign mythical creatures to each of the girls, Osaka would be Cthulhu. Why? Because of the way she thinks. It's so different from everybody else. That's a that stretch. Show. I'm just, just picturing. Some Cthulhu being with Osaka's voice and speech mannerisms, and I, I just can't help but laugh. Okay. The voice her as Osaka. Your lord commands you to. Mm. 
Alright, going back into the jungle with the stone thingy. How long have we been going for? We've been going for 30 minutes. Yeah, this island is fucking massive. Yeah. Okay, I think we got a few minutes left. We're gonna finish the jungle Raphael Raven part. And we're gonna unlock the entrance to the volcano, and then we're gonna switch to Undertale for a little while. I just gotta figure out where the hell the statue part is. I should... Wait, what's my health like? I should heal. That would, <laughs> that would be a good idea. He almost died. Did you save? Yeah, you did. Yeah, I think I did. Just flopping around behind me. No privacy? What kind it's, of service is this? It's faux privacy. What, are you gonna jack off in the toad house? <laughs> no, but that's not the point! <laughs> Shit, my voice came out. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure the Yoshis will be respectful and quiet. We did just save all of their fucking children. <laughs> we we saved a generation. Well, they pa they panicked like Attack on Titan characters while we manned up and took care of business. <laughs> More yeah, than I, it, yeah, you fucking bushwhacked the jungle like daring explorers, and you saved the poor native people. In a like, like a real white man. In a rare instance, uh, Moro and I actually had a discussion about anime the other day because he doesn't watch a lot of anime. No, but apparently he uh, strange for somebody his age. He has seen One Piece up to a point. He like his cousin that I guess he has like little cousins or something. I don't uh, know. His cousin watched it for a while, and oh god damn it, fuck off, shy guy. His cousin watched it for a little while, and he was, like, catching by proxy most of the series up until, uh, up until Water 7 is when he st got, uh, you know, mixed, staggered. It's interesting. So he did not see, he, he did not see Yoyoi guy. I had to, I had to show him that. God damn it, he missed one of the best characters. Yeah. He did talk about how, like, to him, oh, uh, what was it? He did, he did, the thing that he didn't like about One Piece was that, uh, just like the pacing of it, there was too much waiting for, like, waiting for, between fights for the fights to happen, or for Luffy to get there and save the day, uh, which I, is a fair assessment. It does happen a lot in well, One Piece. I think that, that I don't mind it as much in One Piece because the characters are, are interesting or and or funny enough. It's a character-driven show. If you don't love the characters in One Piece, you're not gonna you're get. Not, very you're not. You're not. Yeah. You're not gonna. It's, it's not. You're not gonna need to watch it. Oh no! But I mean, that is that is kind of true. A lot of the arcs are just like waiting for Luffy to f get back after like his hand is stuck in a ball and he's thrown off a giant jack or so whatever excuse there is for him to not be beating the bad guy's face. <laughs> in. But at least it's better than Dragon Ball Z, where the entire series is just a bunch of useless people waiting for Goku to get there. <laughs> just oh. 300 episodes of it, baby. Yeah! And then the opposite... I mean, it's, it sounded like Bleach would be more up his alley, because Bleach... Bleach does all the exposition and setup at one time, and then it does the giant string of everyone's fights at one time. Oh, man. And so it's very, very on and off in that way. Do you like puzzles, Jack? Oh, I love them. What do we got? Nope, not that Oh, one. no! Oh, there you go. That was too easy. Yeah. Okay, and they think this is just piranha plants. Uh, yeah. Everything... And for some reason... Okay, go on. Let, let, come get us, big, big, big bad whoop, whoop. boys. Oh, we're gonna twirl! How the fuck are plants And for some twirling? reason, a random Ku Klux Klan member. What the fuck? Hi, uh, I'm just hanging out. Yup. Let's see how this works. My name's Jim. Uh, I'm here because I really appreciate the rainforest and all it provides for us. <laughs> I'm here with Habitat for Koopmanity. <laughs> You're gonna have to take- he's a healer, I think. You're gonna have to yeah. take him out first. Oh yeah, he's a he's a botanist. Yeah, even Gumbaria knows you target the white mage first. <laughs> Sorry, you take out the hero. The clerics need to be one thing: heavily armored and in uh, 
and into armored assault vehicles. Yeah. God damn it. Yeah, he heals himself. I want to be... If I ever play D&D again, I want to try out playing a healer. Yeah. Because a healer... Uh, they would owe, People would owe me. Yeah. That'd be cool. You got on everyone's good side. Yeah. You I'm decide who lives and who dies. And I, I, you know what? I could be a cleric that can heals, but I could also be whatever part of religion I wanted. I'd just be a part of that Hellraiser <laughs> religion. Yeah. As an healer. <laughs> That'd be interesting. Is that, oh, right, that's actually, like, that's a religion in the Hellraiser movies? Uh, it's in the book, it was like, the something-something order of the gash. Mm. The gash! Okay, my... None of my party members are especially damaging right now, unfortunately. Here, I'll switch to, uh, I'll do, I'll do Bao. She's the most damaging, currently. Oh, I missed it. You fool! I fucked it up! I ruined it! I'm still fucking it up! Okay. Okay. Now I can deal with them timely. One at a time. Yeah, boo. The, the person is the best. <laughs> I wasn't even close to her name. Boo. Well, she is a boo! You just call people by their races? Bo. Yeah, white. <laughs> you think you think the Mario like the universe of Mario would make for a good magic set? I'm sure you could. You can make just about any universe into a decent magic set with some imagination. Yeah. Mario God damn plays, it. The planes walker for this world. Does every world only have one planeswalker? Well, I think the thing is, is that, uh, that's usually the, I mean, law of averages, because in, in, like, canon, they don't say this in, uni in like, in universe, but they mention that pe that one in a million people on a plane have a chance of having a plane spark, uh, yeah. a spark uh, that allows people to planeswalk, and then, uh, you have a one in a million chance of activating it. Yeah. So their planeswalkers are pretty rare. Mm. It was either that or an exaggeration, but it basically, yeah. That. So it would probably be Mario because he gets in danger the most. Yeah. And planeswalker sparks uh, activate under extreme emotional duress. Hey, you're at you're at the Great Deku Tree. Maybe Mario's seen too much shit to be to experience emotional duress at this point, though. He's too hardened. That's why Snake never became a planeswalker. Well, I mean, at some point during your childhood, if you, the first time you undergo extreme emotional... Goombari is a lot more likely to become a planeswalker right now. <sighs> Fair enough. <laughs> or maybe it'll par be Paracary. Maybe we'll get rid of him. In a moment of panic and fear. He's an inner... He's a... He's an inner... He's such an inner-universal... Inner inner interplanner, uh... Postal, like, pin pal service? That'd be a great idea. takes letters from plane to plane? That'd be a great idea for a planeswalker. an inter interplanal postman. Well, the thing is, is that most people on planes aren't aware that they're a part of a multiverse. Well, yeah, but he can change that. He just sets up a pin pal service? Yeah. <laughs> well, that'd be bad if he was on Ravnica, because the people- because the planeswalkers on Ravnica actually actively don't want people there to discover there are planeswalkers. Yeah. Because one one of the people in Ravnica is a, is a fucking mad scientist to an experiment on them. Oh, okay. On planeswalkers? Yes! If he ever found out. Yeah. And this is said by another planeswalker who works directly under him. So he's like, yeah, he'd do this. Let's not ha have it happen. Sounds like Ravnica has more than its share of planeswalkers. It has... It has... Uh, uh, affirmative! I'm the master of this island! Call sign, Raphael the Raven! Oh my god! He died... <laughs> Durr! Derpy face military commands. What the fuck? Roger that! You can't find a way to reach the volcano, is that it? Yeah, that's a problem. Not for me, though. I'll help! Okay, uh, one planeswalker is, uh, is a guy who works underneath, uh, 
it works underneath the aforementioned mad scientist dragon. Is it, it guest all for whatever? No, that's that's an Innistrad. Okay. Uh, this one is called, uh, this planeswalker is called Ral Zarek, and he works under Niv Mizzet, the mad scientist dragon. Okay. Basically Tony Stark, because he's vain as shit. Okay. Um, and the planeswalker is literally the leader of the fucking plane, Jace Malarin. Oh, okay. <laughs> he so, is this the Jastus League? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's him, some former elf racist from Zendikar, uh, a, 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 a chick who can summon fire like she's fucking uh, Roy Mustang. Yeah. Uh, a necromancer, and and literally Hercules. Yeah. Have I ever mentioned on stream how much Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood sucks? <laughs> multiple times. That just brought, that brought to my memory when you said Roy Mustang, it just it suddenly came out of nowhere. You know how he beats Lust in Brotherhood? There's no special technique to beating Homunculus. He just kills, he just kills He just snaps death. over and over and over and over and over again and eventually she burns to death. That's, That's it. That's the whole fight. That's super creative and inventive, I know. <laughs> you know, Maybe he was like, that was the only thing that worked. He wasn't going to try anything new because he knew he'd lose, so he just kept doing it over and over again until there was nothing but ash and carbon. Yeah. Still boring, though. I mean, theoretically, if you you, if you kill a homunculus by, uh, as such that, that it, all of their uh, parts of the body would be affected, logically, they would die. I know, but still, it's it, for a series that has nothing going for it except for the fights, you'd expect more interesting fights. I'm not arguing that. That's not that's not interesting in the traditional sense. I just think it's interesting in a in a morbid curiosity kind of way. Yeah. And he would just do that. Well, he begs the question. I, I get no. He did try that in original Full Metal and it didn't work. So I guess it's just a difference in strength of the homunculus. Dude, I. <laughs> Wait, you're saying Lust wasn't a very strong homunculus? That all she had going for her was sex appeal and finger bullets? Apparently. I mean, if she burned to death and the Fuhrer did... The other guy things. became a fucking monster! Well, no. In, like, the movie. In, well, like, the yeah. original series. Yes, he did. So... I wonder what happened. I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying, canonically, Brotherhood Lust burned to death, whereas original Fuhrer did not. Oh, we've got the Ultra I mean, Stone. We can have Ultra Party members in now. In reality, if you're encountering a supernatural being, there are two ways to take it out. One, you find their weakness. Two, with enough gun. Mm. With enough force, you can destroy anything. Okay. I mean... If you say so, Mr. Cthulhu Fighter. What happens if a homunculus was nuked? I am sure that would be enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just strap that shit, uh, that, that fucker on a, on a warhead, and then drop him out and let him ride it down like it's the end of fucking Doctor Strangelove. What well, would a nuke kill Cthulhu? Well, Cthulhu has more mass. The homunculi are pretty small. They're, would <laughs> a Cthulhu-sized nuke kill C Cthulhu? If Cthulhu built a nuke, would it kill himself? I don't know. This is one of the. This is one of those questions. Like, could Jesus him, could Jesus microwave a burrito so hot that he himself could not eat it? Keeps you wondering, man. Fuck you. All right, that's enough for. Uh, that's enough for Paper Mario. We're gonna shut this down. Be back with about half an hour Undertale, and then come back with Cards Against Humanity. Be back in just a minute. Just a minute.